Hey everyone, welcome to a new Terraria playthrough. Ah, gamer just doesn't finish playthrough jokes. There you go, we got him out of the way. What the heck? But yeah, we are here in the mod of redemption. We're gonna be doing the Druid class. You know, I did a video recently covering this class, covering a little bit of the class in the uh, what if there were more classes in Terraria. And the Druid class honestly is amazing. So we're gonna check it out here in detail. I felt like I needed a playthrough going on on the channel during Game Raiders month because like, if I don't have one on the channel, it makes it a little bit harder to post videos. I'm not going to lie because I, I need some sorts of content over and over. I can't come up with new ideas every day. But yeah, we're here. Let's get to it. The first step we have to do, we need an acorn. We need a crafting table. Look at that. We have both of those. Oh, yeah, and wood. Boom. Acorn stave. This is our first weapon we can get our hands on in the Druid class. Well, maybe you can get another one, but this is the one that I'm getting my hands on. As you can see, right clicking will summon a nature pixie for druidic damage. Guardian info type pixie, special ability swift cast. Staves cast a lot faster. Shoots an acorn. A lot of information, and they spread it out really weirdly, if I'm being honest. But let's get to it. I can't even see what's going on here. Let's get to it. Damn, I'm shooting acorns at them. But yeah, as you can see, got a little pixie above my head. The pixie gives me a little buff the buff makes me shoot acorns faster very interesting concept for a new class and it ain't just like a summoner type thing either there's a bunch of other stuff inside of the druid class a bunch of other weapons we can get our hands on and i'm excited i have touched this class a little bit in the past but not enough to where i know everything or if anything at all because the modern redemption the last time i played it like playthrough wise it's gotten a lot of updates since then like it's gotten a lot bigger it's got a lot more spotlight it was in the trailer for t mod loader you know the trailer that i believe who was it chaos and chippy worked on and uh maybe some other people too but yeah let's get to it i'm ready kind of i know one of the things we need for our first armor set is living wood something living wood helmet no not this one this one living wood garland we need living twigs okay so we're playing on a medium world here we're playing on expert my usual things that i always have every playthrough you know even if we don't finish this playthrough which who knows at this point hey i've been finishing all my stream playthroughs but actually channel playthroughs you know sometimes you just lose interest but yeah in terms of these videos for this playthrough i'll make them a little bit chunkier maybe like 30 40 minute videos we'll see uh, maybe 20 minute videos every now and then just filled with a bunch of content because i need to get a lot done here or i'm trying to get a lot done per episode is what i should say hey you know one thing i'm also trying to get done i want to kill some eaters but i don't think we do enough damage to even do that i'm doing one damage per acorn that's not good i need to get around this guy too then does this stave use mana i don't think it does right yeah it doesn't okay let's be careful here uh i think we might okay <laughs> my character's name is girth i know it's a great name tried to make my character look naked and make him wear uh some jorts you know some jean shorts thought it would be funny it is pretty funny now that i look at it what is plant matter can be placed material use that extractinator oh it makes a seed bag we want these seed bags seed bags are another weapon we can get our hands on is that chicken i, I remember chickens chickens play a big part in this mod i think when i played the mod they didn't play as big of a part but now i know they do play a really big part yeah we're trying to find a living wood tree i think i hope that's what we're trying to do i don't, I don't really know honestly because where else will we get living wood twigs right it only makes sense what is that living bloom hold up this thing might drop like twigs i might as well kill it it dropped something and glonic mystic blossom a material okay what is it a material for oh what the heck 86 druidic damage i'm pretty sure this is hard mode stuff that's honestly pretty insane revival potion use on an unconscious town and proceed to wake them up okay cool cool that like all that stuff i just read literally has no use for me so like i'm saying cool but like it's not that cool at the same time because i literally can't use it for a while speak about seed bag we got our herb bag uh that actually might be very very useful oh we got an aglet nice oh acorn bomb that's a druid weapon there uh oh i might die in a second here unless oh my god i finessed i finessed that stupid ant lion i'm gonna break some cactus because i have no idea if cactus makes a druid weapon or not might as well check i don't see any druidic weapons uh uh let's get him to fall into that hole nice all right and now we fight this thing okay that thing's not taking enough damage let's throw an acorn bomb at it ow the acorn bomb can hit me too wow they throw really well 
Might have wasted a couple of them. All good. And here comes another vulture. Like I didn't just battle for my life. Okay, I missed both of those. That's terrible. And now here comes a flying ant lion. This just couldn't get any worse. I'm just trying to find a living wood tree. I literally have nothing to my name right now. Please. Oh, and here comes another vulture. Yeah, you know what? Since I'm going to die, we might as well, like, try our best to finish up this. All right. Finally, I made it to the living wood tree. A whole daytime has passed. I also made this boreal stave here that shoots a pine needle. But yeah, now how do I get this material? Is it I just break the leaves here is what I'm assuming? Kill enemies here? Like, well, how do I get it? I Okay, I don't know. I guess it's not that way. Maybe it is you just kill enemies here. Maybe it's the chest loot here. I have no idea. Probably should have looked it up. Let's see. Okay, absolutely nothing in here. That feels exactly like Terry 1.4 right there, though. All right. What about down here? Anything special down here? No? Just snow biome? Okay, I'm gonna go look into exactly what this stuff is. Because at this point, I have no idea what it is. Wait, living twig. I have recipe browser installed, so that's always a way. If it's a drop, I can figure out if it's a drop. Boom. It is a drop. It drops from forest golems. Where, where do these things spawn? <laughs> uh, forest golem drops. It kind of see like where it spawns. Is that like something that shows up? I don't know if you noticed. I've been having trouble climbing up this tree. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the houses here. We got our boy Zephos. Is he a... Yeah, he's the Wayfarer NPC. He's supposed to get us a bag of some sort. What the hell? Uh, quest. Normally, I'm the one who needs quest because I'm as poor as a chicken. Oh, they give me an idea. Give me a bucket of chicken. When a, when a chicken dies while they're on fire, they'll drop fried chicken. I, I don't think I could set something on fire. <laughs> Oh, he has a shop. Okay, I was about to say. There we go. That's where we get the leather pouch. Oh, look. He also sells twigs. Bro, you got everything I need. Oh, look. Flint and steel. We can set things on fire. We can use that to set a chicken on fire. We can consider that cheating. But uh, leather pouch. Yeah, I'll take me one of those. Um, And then living twigs. I don't know how many I need. Let's start with five. I have six gold. Oh, God. There's a forest spider coming. Let me get rid of it. Disgusting. All right living twig uh there's a living with staff cool but uh, what's the armor we want the armor 30 18 36 got it that's like 72 if i were to randomly guess a number not good at math so that is 100 percent a random guess and i hope that random guess is close let's get everything i'm not gonna need which is like 90 percent of the stuff in here and we're gonna spend all our money because why not? No reason not to. We kind of need this stuff for us to progress in terms of damage wise. So there's no reason for me not to. 72. Let's see if my guess is right. Okay, I made 76. Let's uh, put four in the garbage. All right, can I make it? Is this not where you make it? Oh, you need an anvil. Okay, that's fine. I have one of those too. No, I don't actually. What the hell? <laughs> I thought I had one of them. All right, anvil. Let's see here. Boom. One. So, okay, I'm already off. I'm already off can't make the pants the pants just vanished okay i need eight more for the pants oh my god i keep clicking on cycle options why is cycle options on this side hold up what else do i need i need eight more and then what is this forest core never mind we can't really touch that all right we need eight more on top of the eight more we need oh my god i hit cycle options again all right pants though where are the pants at boom and then we need an acorn and we can make another beautiful stave where do we make the stave we make it at the workbench for some reason ah and it's ass nice all right but let's put on this armor here boom our first armor set not the prettiest really ugly in my opinion what's the set bonus though seven percent druidic damage immune to poison not bad i will take an immunity to poison but yeah now we have this right here leather pouch boom look how many new weapons this opens up for us primarily my favorite pocket full of sand yes no i'm kidding what can we get here large seed pouch interesting that's an accessory. Very, very interesting. Huh? Fire Blossom might be the hardest to get there because... Well, actually, no, it wouldn't. We just need to get to hell. All right, but yeah, what, what can we make currently? If I were to just open up some chests, what can we make currently? It seems like Blink Root, Day Bloom, Heal Shroom. Do I need a healing one? Those capsules that grow spores releasing healing shrooms. Okay, gives us regen. Deals more damage at daytime. Okay. Uh, light emitting blink root. Okay, so this is not even a damage one. Well, I guess the day bloom one's the only one we can get our hands on then. <laughs> that does damage, I guess. Uh, I do want to actually make another one of these, the living wood staves, because uh, obvious reasons. The one I made sucks. Of course it does. Of course it has to have a bad reforge. Why would it not have a good reforge or just none at all? If you guys remember the clicker class, beginning of the clicker class playthrough, you know? <laughs> 
that's just how the game raiders rng be sometimes but yeah let's see this in action let's see both of these in action so it gives a swift cast and it shoots a leaf what does the swift cast do we shoot faster leaves Okay, seems like all the staves are the same so far, which makes sense. It's early game. Uh, but let's see here. Day bloom seed back. There's a seed that grows into the day bloom. Boom. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty cool. Gives us the happy buff too. Nice. So we have a very simple goal now. There is a altar we're trying to get our hands on. The druidic altar. And that should open up our next armor. So you see we need platinum for it. So it's time for me to get into the mines here. Uh, there's also some other weapons you can make. Druid dagger. I'll probably look into a couple other things that we can make. But right now that is my main goal. I'll, I'll kind of just work to that. And uh, you know record what, if anything interesting happens. Or just record until we get it. If nothing interesting happens. Alright we're here. Five Finally, years later, like literally it's been weeks since I recorded the original first half of this episode. It took me a while to find a cave. Okay, I've been busy with other things, obviously. But I finally found a decent cave here. Just took a little bit of bombing and I found like 100 gold. Nice. Or 100 gold ore. Which means we get enough gold to make a druidic altar. Perfect. We take the druidic altar, we place it. Now we can craft druidic things. Amazing. Beautiful. That's what you like to hear, right? Now, I was looking at some stuff that we can make with gold, and look at this. There's a lot of these, like, crowns we can make, and all the crowns do different things. This one right here, staves cast faster. This one right here has a chance to throw an extra seed, and this one right here, spirits pierce through more targets. I think the seed one is the way to go. I just need some moon glow. Uh, do I have moon glow? It is a high possibility since I do have this. I don't think I got a single piece of moon glow from that. All right, that's awesome. We do have one moon glow, just one. Okay, that's better than none but uh, i might have to take a look at the wiki here to see where we can go in terms of progression all right i looked into it as in just armor we can make dryad armor beautiful it's better than the living wood armor well i think anything is so let us make it we're losing seven damage and immunity to poison okay come on give me something amazing then boom we are gaining stabs can cast faster okay that's fine i'll, I'll take it let's see how much faster uh, it doesn't feel that much faster Okay, it's very slightly faster. Uh, we also look a lot cooler. I prefer this armor to the other one. But uh, on top of that, like, oh man, we don't have the moon glow. I really want to get the moon glow and make the crown. But yeah, let me see here. Let's look through some things. This is the thing about playing a whole new class you haven't played before. Is like, you don't know what to do. And I'm at that moment where I'm like, what the hell do I make in terms of weaponry? Like, there's so many weapons on the wiki. I don't know what to make. I don't know what to go for. Who knows? I saw that there was like a cross we could make. Copper cross needs copper copper rope and small lost souls i think i do have small lost souls somewhere right yeah i got some but like this stuff is kind of like used for armor and other weapons so i kind of want to save it for that but at the same time it's like you know might as well make this right because we'll always get some souls back we just need to kill some enemies i believe uh some underground enemies and it's used for a future crafting recipe so like yeah why not why not craft it right now we should have everything i believe so let us make this boom copper cross and it's quick beautiful does it have like a sprite no sprite come on mod of redemption is the one mod i expected to do that any like weapons i can make though oh this is kind of cheap this magnetic soul bound hmm kind of cheap hateful talisman i can never imagine a talisman being hateful it doesn't even have a mouth how could it be so hateful but yeah i guess i gotta go to the wiki again i don't know i gotta figure out a weapon or something some more weapons all right i looked at the wiki for a solid minute uh it's a little confusing how the weapons aren't exactly organized by like damage type i think they are i think they're organized by alphabetical Meaning that like adamantite seed bag was at the top. So it, it doesn't help me a little bit. But I could I could deduce that seed bags is a thing that we need. So if we type in seed here, okay, we see that all seed bags require the leather pouch. Boom, we get our hands on a leather leather pouch from my boy here, Zephos. I'm sorry, didn't mean to hit you with that. We could go from there. Hold up. I didn't really look at what he's selling. You selling anything like related to druidic stuff? kind of not really uh all right water leaf seed bag does this do damage i gotta make sure that it does damage because if it doesn't do damage
damage then i probably shouldn't make it unless it's like a really good buff we got shiver thorn stuff sky flower if i remember correctly sky flower was really good from the little time that i did play of this class uh but we need sky blue flowers so i gotta remember to like pick up these dye plants the dye plants are the ones that are very important we got this stuff the moss seed bag but it needs ancient wood and there's like an area called like the hall of heroes or something like that and that's where you can find ancient wood if i remember correctly from what i read on the wiki the moon glow seed bag uh deals more damage at night time okay i don't think one that does 30 damage i'm gonna be able to get my hands on anytime soon the fire blossom one does 34 that's all i need hey we have the fire blossoms they were somewhere i had three of them somewhere boom right there death weed that's not what we have right now what do we, oh we have vile thorn okay so as you can see there's a there's a couple of very very good ones crim thorn oh that's just a spiky bush so we pretty much have that blood root okay we need an orange blood root uh blink root that gives us light adamantite we got this right here large seed pouch Ooh, can i make this i might be able to oh we need a tinkerer's workshop though come on water leaf those are seed that grows into moist water leaf do i have okay i do have water leaf so i guess we make this like i don't know which ones i should be making or not i need sand and sand is really far away all right hold up all right water leaf amazing oh it's blessed too i love when my water leaves are blessed all right so what does this one do I, i'm assuming it probably does the same thing Ooh, we got a lot more damage or not a lot more but 25 percent. that's a pretty good damage boost so what is our first boss here oh there's actually a boss like fairly soon thorn bane of the forest interesting interesting uh and then we just have king slime straight up okay that's i don't know if we can fight king slime right now it might be possible it honestly might if i do this here okay ready we take some plants here we got a lot of blink roots might as well take them and then we had to combine these right here boom druid dagger gold bars so you can see these do a good bit of damage eight okay maybe not that much but like if we just combine that with some gold you know we can get our hands on some like decent weaponry right away it depends do we do we need gold for like another armor set no we don't all we need gold for is like this i kind of want to go get moon glow in my hands but uh, i'm kind of scared at the same time i could go attempt to get some moon glow it's just that uh you know the jungle's a little bit scary for how early on my character is shoot i have trouble even getting to the jungle because the desert's right there but I, I could try and get some moon glow i am back and i have the moon glow intact let's check it out hold on let me put my money away all right let's see let us make this thing this is the one thing i want to make here unless there's something really cool we can make with moon glow let's see oh there's actually a couple things we got some shackles don't know if we need moon glow specifically for these shackles maybe we do maybe it's just any type of plant i don't know no it looks like it's moon glow because i feel like it would say or it wouldn't say moon glow okay that's fine we can always get more in the future this also has a chance to throw an extra seed when's if i get a bunch of things that let me just throw an extra seed uh there's a giant dandelion this is a hard mode item so uh, that doesn't matter a uh, spiritual guide obviously hard mode hard mode but let's just make the uh, crown or whatever this is yeah it is a crown boom now i believe with these crowns you still keep the set bonus of the armor you're wearing no you don't okay understandable the set bonus wasn't that good anyways it just made our staves faster i don't care about that we still get three defense in return and we get a chance to throw an extra seed we lose a little bit of damage but it's fine because we gain damage because we have a chance to throw an extra seed i wonder how high the chance is oh there you go i threw two right there oh through two again through one through one through one through one through two okay so it's every now and then but the goal is to get a bunch of accessories that allow me to throw extra seeds and that way you know i'll always be throwing them on accident or on purpose i guess because as we saw there was those shackles and those shackles allow us to throw an extra seed maybe i should kill some zombies this night but like i think i should end the first episode here i wanted to fight a boss originally when i decided to record this episode but this episode is taking me like a good like week to record <laughs> mainly because i've been busy most of the time and then also like rng i've been trying to find a good gold cave and i just couldn't find gold anywhere until we struck gold gold literally right here because i found like a hundred plus gold ore but yeah we're gonna end this first episode off here uh leave me some suggestions and stuff give me some things for the beginning of this playthrough because i have no idea and i think most of you might have an idea hopefully maybe you guys played this already because i have barely touched a druidic class i've touched it like once for like 
four episodes whenever that old old series was but yeah hope you guys are enjoying we're gonna try and do this playthrough the rest of game Raiders month that's if game Raiders month is still going because i'll be 100 percent honest i'm kind of running out of video ideas and just videos to do in general you know some things usually take me a couple days but like i with game Raiders month you know i'm trying to post every day it's kind of hard but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you on the next video